someone's lure. Icky. Hey guys, during the fall time, bass are moving around. They're trying to find uh, some bait fish and everything else like that. So they're moving around, they're moving shallow and staying more towards cover. Perfect time of the year to really start your journey. Second, your setup. Don't always go for the most expensive one. Okay, don't go for like the hundred dollar reels, uh, reel combos. You really want to be more this one. Nice size one. We got a weigh in. Yeah, definitely a nice size one. Uh, let's see what the scale says. By the weight, by me just holding her. Definitely say probably high twos, maybe. Let's reset this. Close. Close. Nice size. I would definitely go with uh, ones that are more in the uh, 40, 30 to 40 dollar range, range for a beginner. The uh, reason behind that is because then you're not really spending that much money on a combo. But at the same time too, you're going to get used to, used to your combo. Figure out what combos are the best for you, which ones is going to work for you, and all that. So, definitely 30, 30 to 40 dollar range, maybe pushing 50. Hey. Uh, my third one is the type of lures. Again, don't go expensive. Okay, a good, uh, good quality ones. That's another. I'll definitely feed in. Uh, might not be able to see my scale, but let's reset it. Almost a two pounder. They're, de they're definitely starting to feed more. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, if you're going to Try to figure out your uh, what kind of lures you want to use, because everyone has those go-to lures. And when I mean everyone, I mean everyone has those go-to lures. Um, like me, it's lipless crankbaits. So the best type of lures I would definitely say to go with, to kind of get your feet wet a little bit, uh, because this helped me get back into the rhythm when I took a break from fishing. Uh, go with Ozark. They're affordable. Um, and they're really not that expensive, but they're really not that cheap either. Or, so it would definitely help out a lot. Or you could go with the dollar lure ones. Because there are some that are just dollar lures. And figure it out from there. 
um, the last eight, that was number three. Trying to figure out uh, if you have a bite or not. Um, that is a hard one in itself because um, you have so many obstacles anyway that will that could trick you, honestly. So this is something that also helped me out a lot when I was trying to figure out. Uh, when I was trying to get back into it. So take like a lipless crankbait. If you know someone who's very good at taking off the hooks, take off the hooks, put the uh, put that lipless crankbait on and throw it around. Just throw it around, let it hit rocks, let it hit lay downs, bushes, stuff like that. And then you can kind of get the feel of uh, You can get the feel of it more uh, better that way because then when it comes to you actually using your lures, um, you have a more better understanding of what you're uh, getting yourself into and being able to uh, decide if you're getting hit by a fish or if you're hitting rocks or something in that uh, nature. So that's a good tip. And the most important tip, you guys, number five, just have fun. Go out there, have fun. If you know people that uh, fish and everything, even, even if you can't catch anything, uh, don't be discouraged. Because we all have those uh, times that we could be nailed, like hitting them left and right. Hey, right? there's gonna be times where we could catch a few fish in that day. Um, there's other times where we just won't catch any. We'll catch uh, odds and ends mainly. So that's getting out there, having some fun. Run. Got one. Nice size one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will have to go back to the video to see. I'm trying to get all good angles. The last one was a pound and 12 ounces. So we're gonna see how much this one weighs. Is let's zero this out. That has to be bigger than a pound. That's there we go. Two pounds, five ounces. Um, bonus tip, guys. After fighting a big fish like that, uh, some of us forget to do it. <laughs> Restring. 
Even if the fishing's hot, guys, take a moment to restring. Can't tell you how many times I've lost a lure due to not restringing. This is a standard unit knot, even though I'm messing up a bit because my hands are all wet. There's a lot of videos on how to tie these. I'll probably do an uh, instruction video on how to do it. So yeah, uh, let's go with line real quick. You could go with blade, braided line, you could go with monofilament, fluorine carbon, all that stuff. Um, while you're just starting out, uh, go with any anything between 10 to 15. I'm right now. I have a 40 pound braid because typically I fish near cover, high cover, or very strong cover. So I need a line that's gonna whoa really help me out. Almost fell there. Should be over it now. The reason why I'm breathing so hard is because my uh, shoulder hurts. I got pulled muscle, but I wanted to do this video for you guys. Um, let's see, what else? I know I said five, and I gave more than just five. Um, the time of year, even though I, I spoke about that, perfect time of year for beginners would be around fall, it, during the fall, fall time. Perfect time for you guys. But let's go with temperature-wise, okay? Um... Depending on what kind of lure you're using, uh, what they are preferring at that given point in time, will also determine how fast you should be reeling. Okay, this is one thing a lot of people don't cover, is uh, how fast you should be reeling. If you have a system where you are reeling too fast, you're not getting a bite, but you know for a fact the fish is in uh, certain areas, uh, slow it down a bit, okay? There's no need to be doing one of those numbers, burning it right through. And that's what happens when you don't allow things to really happen. And all that well. And I got a major nut. But I can fix that easily.
Just got to find where exactly it is. And I found it. Getting your line tangled, okay, is normal, okay, guys. So, if you're watching this video, you're th you're gonna be thinking about laughing. Just know this happens to every single person. Every single person. So let's head back to the car. Tie up another one. And uh, come right back out. I should have brought it with me, but let's see what happens. All right, we got our uh, lure back on. Heading back to the spot. This time I brought my little tackle box. We got some fun for the rest of the video. One thing I didn't talk about was uh, another part of equipment. If you're gonna be fishing from the bank, uh, no more than two. 